Hello everybody. We've been waiting for this vaccine for some time. Everyone wants to know about the COVID vaccine. Many people will ask you this question and you should at least have some idea about it. I'm just going to tell you a couple of um, important concepts. One of them is that this is an mRNA vaccine. So it contains an RNA particle that is placed inside of a lipid and that is basically for transport and that will be taken into the cell and once it's taken into the cell you can see that the RNA molecule will go into the cells machinery and our cells will be able to produce proteins Those proteins are basically the proteins of the COVID virus. The cell will then send those proteins out. So if it sends it out to the surface, they will get stuck and they will become part of this system that is called the MHC, which is the major histocompatibility complex. And this will enable our immune system to detect it and create um, a cellular response. The other way is that they get secreted into the bloodstream and that will also induce the immune response. This vaccine is very special because this is the first vaccine in the world to be prepared using this mRNA technology. If you remember, the type of vaccines that we have, some of them are live virus, some of them are uh, dead or killed viruses, some of them are weakened viruses, polysaccharide, etc. And this is the first vaccine that we use an mRNA uh, molecule as we know, due to the COVID pandemic, this type of vaccine has obtained an emergency use authorization from the US FDA. It means that this vaccine has went through kind of an accelerated process to get approved in the US. And the two companies that are doing that, one of them is Moderna and the other one is Pfizer. So what is special about this mRNA vaccine is the following. Number one, the production speed. So they'll be able to produce a large number of doses in a short time. Two, low cost. And this is also very important, especially in a pandemic where you're going to use it in a lot of countries. Uh, you want to make sure that this product is not expensive so that it will be easy to deliver it to a lot of countries. Um, in the developed and in the developing world. The other thing is that this mRNA vaccine can induce the cellular immunity in addition to humoral immunity. Cellular immunity is where you have the CD4 and the CD8 cells, all right, which will act and will recognize this um, material and will fight it. The humoral is where you're producing IgMs and IgGs. And so we have those two mechanisms where the patient can fight this virus if the patient gets infected. Another thing to know is that both of those vaccines have showed so far about 90 to 95% efficacy. Uh, that is highly effective rate, 90 to 95 percent. Uh, you can't ask for more. And this is really promising. The downside of this mRNA vaccine is that RNA molecules are fragile. In the counterpart for the DNA, which is DNA, it is more stable. And because this RNA molecule is very fragile, it is easily broken down. And thus, this has to be placed 
under very low temperatures during um, transportation. And this has to be like in the minus um, 70 degrees Celsius. If this molecule is outside human cell or uh, the drug delivery system, which is the lipid pegylated molecule, this will be broken down and it will lose its, its efficacy. And this is why the dose that you might be given, you might actually receive less if the transport uh, mechanism was not adequate. And this is a major concern. Imagine how are you going to transport something with a negative 70 degrees Celsius. Not just that, you want to transport those doses, which can be millions of doses under this temperature. Once we lose this temperature, there is a high chance that those mRNA molecules are broken down and the vaccine will not be effective. But Moderna company says that its vaccine can survive up to negative uh, 20 degrees Celsius and it can uh, remain stable uh, at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, which is good. But let's see how that pans out. Hopefully, in the next weeks, it's expected that in the US, the priority will be for the um, first-line responders, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, technicians are all exposed to the COVID every day and they're at a higher risk to be infected and at the same time to transmit the COVID virus. And this is the number one priority. Then after this initial plan, it will be given to elderly people with um, chronic medical conditions and then it will be to the rest of the population. And this is basically a short review of the mRNA vaccine that we've been hearing about in the news and will be coming to our hospitals very soon. So think about it. The best way to treat an infection is not to get the infection from the first place. So if this vaccine is able to do that, then we should all consider this vaccine and be open to get vaccinated. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe, put your mask on, and make sure you take care of yourself and the people you love. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.